Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my empties for the month of July. I'm also going to review how things are going with my low buy as well as how I'm doing in terms of dollar amount that I have used up so far this year. I was doing like a Panda 7K, but I'm already pretty close to that. So we may go, we may go up a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to start with my empties. And as usual, I will leave timestamps down below if you want to hop over to a specific section. And for my empties, I'm going to start with makeup first. I don't have a ton this month. I mean, I have a good amount, but compared to previous months, this was definitely a lower month for me. I was traveling for a week, uh, well, about a week and a half. So a lot of these are little deluxe sizes. All right, let me go ahead and get started. So with makeup, I like to go in order that I apply things, but well, I kind of, I, I have one complexion product. This is by Ulta. It's the full coverage liquid concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. This is okay. It's a little bit drier than I'd like my concealer to be. I don't even know if they make this concealer anymore, but I did take out the stopper and scrape out the sides. So yeah, this is done. I have one more of these concealers in my collection and I need to use it up to get it out because these are old. So I think that's the only complexion product I have. I do have a couple of eyeliners, actually several eyeliners, two from Urban Decay. The first one is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Corrupt. This is a brown-based pencil. You can see this is how much is remaining in here. I wasn't able to sharpen this anymore and it's scraping my eyes. So this one's done. This was a deluxe eye sample. Although, like, I think based on the full size, it's about, it's over half the size of a regular size pencil. Anyway, the other one I have is another one of these 24-7 Glad on Eye pencils, and this is in the shade Zero. So again, you can see that's about as far as I was able to sharpen it. I'm glad to get another black liner out of my collection. And the last liner I used is a liquid liner. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's the Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. This still has some product in here, but when I try to do like the second eye, it's pretty much dried out so this one I'm calling done this was not terrible I actually didn't mind it it's really really dark black which is nice but it's not my favorite formula yeah it's I was gonna say is it really dry it is dry I did this yesterday when I was filming uh, the project this was in and I was like is it dry but yeah it is anyway I, I don't know that I would repurchase that one I have three mascaras now this one I've had open for quite some time so it's been open for at least a couple of months and I don't like it I've used it here and there but it's been open too long and I'm, I'm just done with it this is the Maybelline lash sensational mascara I kept hearing really great things about this and so I wanted to try it I had tried a version of this before and I wasn't a fan. Anyway, I, I just, I don't like it. I don't like the mascara. So it would not be a repurchase for me. Now this one is a holy grail favorite. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love this. I love this so much. It's, I love the wand. There's still a mascara in here, of course, but I've had, I used it for about six weeks. Plus it was starting to irritate my lashes and when mascaras start to do that, I call it done. So anyway, this one's finished. I think I have two more of these. I love it. And the last mascara I finished is a deluxe size. This is by Clarins. It's the Wonder Perfect Mascara 4D. This was okay. Not something I would repurchase. This is what the wand looks like. Yeah, I just didn't find it to do enough for my lashes to repurchase. I prefer something that gives me volume, not necessarily length, because I feel like my lashes are long enough. So I need something that's very volumizing, and I just didn't find that one to do much. I have one facial spray. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love this. It's a holy grail favorite for me. So I've been really... I haven't really finished that many facial sprays this year, so... 
I'm trying to catch up, but I usually finish a lot. I just usually finish a lot of deluxe sizes and I've been working on some full sizes this year. Anyway, this one's done. And lastly, I have four lippies, two, well, three balms. The first one, this one actually I had in my skincare collection as a sunscreen, but the sunscreen in this went away a long time ago. I think I've had this since 2019. The Sol de Janeiro, my soul stick. This is for, let's see, lips face and tattoos and I use this as a lip balm to finish it up so there we go it's all finished this was fine for a lip balm but that's not what it's made for so I and I don't think you can buy this anymore I think they discontinued this but if I could get it I would not repurchase then from Bobbi Brown I have the extra lip tint in the shade bare pink it's this teeny tiny little deluxe size. There was not a lot of product in here. It's all finished. Very much, I use this very much like a balm. Balm. Anyway, I'm glad this one is out. Teeny tiny little mini. And the last lip balm I have is by Fresh. This is a full size. They're hydrating lip balm in the scent Lemon. This is in my 50 shades of yellow. And I really do love this product. It's so good but it's this one's finished I have several more all right one lipstick this is a deluxe size of a MAC lipstick the shade is twig this is the satin formula so here we go this is all finished of course as you know I don't go digging because I have a lot of lip products once it starts scraping my lips I call it done so anyway deluxe size lipstick finished yay yay me all right that is all the makeup so not a ton this time, which is fine. I was kind of expecting to have a low month and this is definitely a lower month for me. All right, moving on to skincare. I don't know how it's possible, but I do not have any cleansers, which is kind of crazy. I feel like I was working on deluxe size samples and somehow I don't have any. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start with serums. So I have by Timeless the 20% vitamin C for look acid and vitamin E. I really do love this. This is my favorite vitamin C serum. I repurchase it. This does not count towards my low buy bank going out or coming in because I repurchased just basically this one. Anyway, this is finished. From Rituals, I have the Radiance Anti-Aging Serum and the Ritual of Namaste Glow. This was an okay serum. I didn't hate it, but I don't think, and I, and I didn't love it. I would not go out of my way to purchase this, but it was fine. I used it when I was traveling. From Peter Thomas Roth, I have the Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum. I use this traveling in place of good jeans and this was in my or is in my 100 colorful empties for red it was fine I didn't mind it but I still prefer good jeans to this I also have a toner which I forgot I should have mentioned this first but I do have a toner this is the alpha H liquid gold with glycolic acid toner I think this came in my look fantastic advent calendar because i can't remember where else i would have gotten this but i could be wrong this was fine i still prefer timeless uh let's see what do they call that i still prefer tarts knockout tingling treatment to this but this was nice it's a pricey product but i did enjoy it i have one eye cream this is by clarins it's the total eye lift this one took forever to finish because it has what seven mils so it's half of a regular full-size eye treatment and I don't mind this. I think overall I prefer the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum over anything else I've tried, but this is a fine product. The next item I have is an oil. This is actually like an oil serum by May Lindstrom. It's the Youth Dew. It's a teeny tiny little deluxe size. <laughs> baby, baby, this is a freebie that you would get whenever you placed an order from May Lindstrom's, May Lindstrom's website. And I really do like this product, but I would never pay full size for this. It's very, very expensive. All right, I have a couple of masks and then we'll be done. One sheet mask. This is the Honey Essence sheet mask from Esfolio. And I have really got to get on the ball about using sheet masks because I have so many and I've been really bad about using them. I think I'm going to do like a sheet mask September 
which I'll probably film a video and showcase what I plan on using, but I think I'm gonna try to use a sheet mask every day in the month of September because I have got to get through these sheet masks. Anyway, use that, and then I used a mud mask. I finished this guy by Borghese, the Fango Restorativo mud mask. I got this from TJ Maxx ages ago, ages ago, and I finally finished it. Oh. No, mud masks are not my thing this was fine my favorite mud mask is a very expensive one for Mae Lindstrom because it's it's a bit more hydrating so I would not repurchase that that is all the skincare moving on to body care I have several things here two from Bath and Body Works the first one I have is a shower gel this is in mango mandarin and set notes for this are juicy mango, sparkling mandarin, orange, and nectarine blossom. I also have the Ultra Shea body cream in the same scent. I felt like this one had a green note, the shower gel did, that I didn't love, that I did not smell in the body lotion. So I would not repurchase the scent. I enjoyed it, but I this is not my favorite scent. I wouldn't repurchase it. From Clarins, I have the Moisture Rich Body Lotion. This is a deluxe size. I don't remember if this is in my 100 Colorful Empties or if I pulled it in my Turn and Burn. I can't remember. Anyway, it's finished. <laughs> I have from Hemp's the, oh, I did enjoy that product. It's very, very nice. From Hemp's, I have their Smoothing Herbal Body Moisturizer in Apricot and Clementine. This was very, very nice. It smelled lovely. Yeah, it's very, very nice smell. So I would repurchase that scent. It was quite nice. And the last body care item I have is by The Bathing Garden. This is the Mango Butter Sugar Scrub in chic summer this smelled nice it wasn't my favorite scent from the bathing garden so i don't think i would repurchase it i did enjoy it but i prefer other fragrances that she has so it was a lovely scrub i love her like the texture of her body scrubs but i wouldn't repurchase that scent oh i have one more i have one more body care item this is the tree hut tropic glow moisturizing shave oil this one didn't take me as long as I would think it would to finish. I love this product. I would absolutely repurchase this. I think I have one more. And once I get to the point where I've worked through my whipped soaps, because I have at least two or three more, I think, then this would be a repurchase item for me because this is my favorite shaving product. So. I've just got a, I've got a couple more things I need to finish before I can count this as a repurchase and not count towards my low buy. Shoot, I have one more. This was hiding. Ugh. <laughs> Another shower gel. This is by Lazaton. They just have it as their shower gel. And I took this traveling with me. There's still a little bit at the bottom there, but I wasn't able to get it out when I was traveling. So whatever, it's fine. This was fine. It smelled okay. It's not a favorite of mine. I don't think I would purchase this. I got this as a freebie. I do love Lost of Tom products, but I prefer other shower gels to this. Now we can move on. I've got a couple of miscellaneous items. I've got two hair care products. These are both deluxe sizes by Living Proof, the Curl Definer. This is okay. I didn't mind it. I didn't love it, but I didn't mind it. I would use another sample. I don't know if I would purchase it because Living Proof is pretty expensive. This one I probably would purchase by Kenra, the All Curl Defining Jelly. I really did enjoy this. This was a free sample that was given to me from the place where I get my hair color, which, by the way, needs to happen pretty soon because my roots are looking sad. But yeah, this was really nice. I quite enjoyed it. I would repurchase that one. I have one perfume by Nest. I finished this deluxe size of Black Tulip. I really do love this scent. It's lovely. I put it in an atomizer to finish it up. But yeah, really did enjoy that one. And then three other random things. <laughs> From Bath and Body Works, I have the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap in Georgia Peach. I include these in here because I have so much hand soap and so many bars of soap that I need to work with my way through. I have not purchased soap from Bath and Body Works in a long time, so I'm just working my way through everything. I think the last time I purchased anything was last year. 
and I think I got like five or six of these but anyway yeah this is in Georgia peach set notes are sweet peach orange blossom and honeysuckle nectar this is really lovely smelled peachy it was good also from Bath and Body Works I have a pocket back in French lavender again I'm counting these because I have so many so many I need to get through and I've been using a lot of these uh, to clean out my the dishes of my wax warmers works perfectly for that so I am multi-purposing these and the last item I have is an empty is a cuticle oil this is by a brand that no longer is around that they were like an Etsy shop I think a friend of mine a work friend of mine knew the person who made these cuticle oils and so I bought some from her the brand is sweet baby and I think this was the pink sugar scent it came in this really nice like rollerball applicator so yeah this is finished which I'm so happy about because I have so much cuticle oil it takes forever to finish so yeah that's done all right, that is everything. Now let me give you a couple of quick totals. So the number of full size items that I used this month was 17 and the number of deluxe size items I used is 15. So that's what, 32 items in the month? Not bad. I do have that one item, which is that timeless serum, vitamin C serum that won't count towards my low buy. I also have some declutters. So let me share with you the things I'm decluttering out of my collection. Okay, I was going through my liner, eyeliner drawer, and I have some liquid liners that I have decided it's time to say goodbye to because I've had these for a long time and they're starting to separate and I just don't feel comfortable putting them on my eyes anymore. These four are from JD Glow. I'm really sad about these because these are these multi chrome liquid liners and the first one I'm going to show you is shooketh but I don't know if you can see how it's separated I just I don't feel comfortable using this anymore and I have three others the first one this one is in nocturnal and translate and geometrics so yeah I'm just I don't I've had them for like four or five years or whenever when did how long ago did they, it doesn't matter they they need to go I have one more liner from them. It's actually like a glitter product and I don't, I can't find it, but I am decluttering that one as well. Then I have these three glitter liners from Urban Decay. I just, I'm, ne I'm never gonna use these. I don't use products like this. It's just not for me. And this one is starting to look really dried out. So I'm getting rid of these three. I think these are all fine. So I'll probably gift these but I won't be using them for myself. And then I have one more item. This is by Sephora. It's their, like an eyeliner in glitter black. I went to, I pulled this out to use, but it's all dried out and you can kind of see that white around there. I don't know what that is, but it's really dry. I tried to put it on my, like my inner rim, like my tight line and waterline and it wouldn't go on. So this is all dried out. I'm saying goodbye to this one. So that is, eight full size items and one deluxe size item that is leaving my collection okay moving on to the things that came into my collection the first item i have is a palette now i use the shop app quite a bit so i had shop cash or something that i needed to spend i think i had around 45 dollars to spend so i went shopping and i ended up picking this palette from blend bunny cosmetics it's the lure palette i think jen from project beauty had commented on this palette and how much she liked it and so i was like yes i'm going to i want to try it so there is the front of the packaging and then here is the palette it's so gorgeous so I'll swatch some of these for you. We'll swatch these shimmer shades. All right, here are the shimmer shades on top. They're so gorgeous. And then I went ahead and swatched just two of the matte sets. So there's the purple and then the turquoise, turquoisey teal shades. So I really do like how there's like a color story you can combine each row together to get a monochromatic look or you can mix and match so yeah i'm excited about this this is beautiful hmm 
All right, that's the only palette that came in. I do have a perfume that came from my Skylar Scent of the Month Club. This is Island Bloom. The scent notes are cardamom, frangipini, and tuberose. Did I say that right? Frangipini? Frangipini? I should probably look that up. And I did test this out. This smells really pretty. I really do like this scent. It's a very, it's a really beautiful summer scent. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to keep getting the club. I'm finding that some of the Skylar scents just don't last on me very well. So I think I may cancel my club soon. I'm skipping August, so I may just end up canceling my club. Anyway, we'll see. But this smells lovely. I have a couple of sugar scrubs. I need to stop buying sugar scrubs. I have so many. But I placed a wax order from the bathing garden and did pick up a couple of her sugar scrubs. This one is in Wildwood White Strawberry. And this one's got this cute little fruit looks like a raspberry and some leaves on the top and then the second one I have is rocket pop and this one says it's an, a parfait so I'm not sure if it's I have to look and see if this is a scrub or a mix of her soap and scrub I can't remember or maybe it's lotion I have no idea need to do some research anyway those two came into my collection I have one thing that I picked up from Sephora this was I think I can't remember they had a sale and this popped up this is by melt it's the cream blush light in honey thief I had this one in my wish list or my loves list on Sephora so I went ahead and picked this up I think this has been discontinued and whenever I bought it it was half off so here is the shade i have swatched this i don't ever wait <laughs> anyway there is the shade there it's beautiful so very excited about this one i'm sad that you can't get it anymore at least on sephora you can't the last group of items i have here is from ulta and this came from their lipstick lipstick day national lipstick day sale i couldn't help myself i was originally not going to buy anything but i did I have some lip products as well as a couple of things that were replacement items. So let me first share with you the two Tarte products I purchased. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Creme and I have the shade Mauve as well as Soft Rose. So we'll swatch both of these. I love the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm and this is a, a cream version of that so more pigmented version. And there is the shade. Again, this one is mauve. Oh, it's so much a Jalon color. I love that. And soft rose. There we go. Gorgeous. And with that purchase came a sample. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. And I, what shade is this in? Rose. So if you can tell, Ziggy got his teeth into this and was snacking on it <laughs> anyway it's this itty bitty little sample <laughs> let's see that is how much is in here this is a lovely color I do enjoy this product as I've mentioned it's so good then I got two lippies from Lancome this is the Le absolute rouge cream excuse me and I have the shade Exotic Orchid. This is Valerie's fault. She told me how gorgeous this color is and I succumbed. I succumbed. Anyway, this product, you tap the button here on the top and the lipstick comes out the bottom. And there is the shade. This is really pretty. There's the swatch. She, she did me right on that color. It's so pretty. I think I thought it was going to be much darker than this, and so I'm glad it's not a super dark berry shade. I also picked up Mon Macaron, and this is what this shade looks like. And there's that shade. So those are both beautiful. I love Lancome's formula. It's really lovely. And then I have two from Estee Lauder. The first one I got is the Pure Color Creme in the shade Covetable. This is number 818 so here is the packaging and then here is the shade I like how on the other side you can kind of see it's got a pattern on there it's really pretty there we go 
And the last lip product I purchased is also from Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color Sheer Shine Lipstick in the shade Intuitive. So here is the packaging and there's the shade. There we go. Beautiful. So those are what the six lip products I purchased from the Ulta's National Lipstick Day sale. Mm. And my two replacement items, I got one of the NYX glitter primers. I like to have one here and then one I keep in my makeup bag that I travel with. So there we go. I recently finished a glitter primer not too long ago, so I needed to buy a replacement. And then lastly, I picked up from The Ordinary the 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil. I need an argan oil for my hair and I'm working on, I think my last, what do you call it? Not jar. I'm working on my last bottle that I have an argan oil. I use this to scrunch out the crunch and kind of hydrate my hair the day that I don't, the days that I don't wash it. So yeah, I went ahead and decided to go with a more cost effective argan oil. I have used the Josie Marin one, which I love, and I'm working on one from, oh, I can't think of the name of the brand. But yeah, this is a replacement, and I'll use it on my hair, not on my skin. And that is everything that came in. So overall, I had all this stuff adds up to 11 items that came into my collection. So let me clear my desk off, and then we'll talk about my low buy numbers. All right, so as I mentioned, I had 17 full-size items that I used up this month, one that does not count towards my low buy, which is that timeless vitamin C serum. And I had a total of eight full size items that were decluttered. I had 15 deluxe size items that I used in the month. Now for my low buy, three deluxe size items that I finish count as like, count like one full size item. So I basically have to use six deluxe sizes to be able to bring a product in because it's a two out one in system. So I had 15 deluxe sizes that I used up plus one deluxe size that I decluttered. So if I add all the numbers together, like divide, multiply, blah, 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 I have, I'm adding 15 points back to my low buy bank and that's with everything divided by two. I had a low buy balance last month of negative one. So I was one in the hole. And with the 11 items that came into my collection, I am now at four points in my low buy bank. So I am out of the negative. Now I think I'm gonna go back into the negative in August because I was in Vegas with some friends and we went shopping and I also got a lot of things as in friend mail. So I'm fairly confident I'm gonna go into the negative. It is what it is. I was debating whether I should count whether I should count the friend mail. I decided to go ahead and do it because I counted the friend mail I got earlier this year and hopefully I can catch up. <laughs> because at the end of the day it is stuff that's coming into my collection and I do want to count it. Now in terms of value, I have been calculating value and only allowing myself to purchase the value of items like it's a $2 out $1 in system, but I am so far ahead of the game on this. I'm not really that concerned about it, but I will share it with you. The value of the items that I used in the month was $517.50. I take out the item that does not count, which is the Timeless Serum, and then the value of the items I decluttered was 130. So that gives me a total value of items used that will go towards my bank is $306. Now, what I purchased was 195. I had a balance of $1,873. So I'm now at a balance of 1,984, which means I can spend $2,000 on four items. <laughs> So like I said, I'm not too worried about the value, the dollar value in my low buy. All right, so I'm going to scooch over. This is gonna be a fast update. And we're gonna go through a couple of charts. So as I mentioned in the month of July, I used $517.50 worth of products. 249 of that is skincare, makeup is $163.50, Bath and Body $68, fragrance, a little deluxe size nest was $4.50. 
Hair Care was 13, and then all the miscellaneous stuff was 1950. So that gets me at $517.50. I will also include a chart here that shows you how I'm looking for the entire year. So for the year, I've used $6,570 worth of product. Uh, I really would like to hit $2,000 in makeup. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. I'm currently at $1,834. So maybe I'll bump that up to $2,500 and see how I do. Skincare, I'm at $3,852.50. We'll see. I'm probably going to try to aim for $4,500. I can't remember what my totals for that were last year. Anyway, I had a goal of seven thousand this year in total product. I'm well ahead. I'm well ahead of that. So we'll see how it happens the rest of the year. This was definitely a down month for me, as I look over the course of the year. But five hundred seventeen dollars fifty cents is nothing to shake your head at. It's not bad. I'll also include a graph here that shows you kind of how things have worked out over the course of the year for both all the months, January through July. So definitely had a really low month this month for skincare. My makeup is not too bad. Um, of course, there's the rest of the products there, uh, or categories, I should say. But definitely the skincare is, I just didn't use a lot of skincare this month, which is fine. So that is everything. I really would like for my low buy bank to be higher because Black Friday, I typically go a little crazy on Black Friday. So I would like to build up a little bit of a little bit of a bank. Plus there's, you know, the Sephora sale at the end of the year. Or like in October. Or yeah, October right? Although I don't know what I would buy right now. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I still prefer, prefer so many bar, bar so bars of soap. Okay, bye.